Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Jeremiah chapter 10. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck, they deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with armors, that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not, they must needs be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good for as much as they there is none like unto thee O Lord thou art great and thy name is great in in might who would not fear thee O king of nations for to thee doth it appertain for as much as among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms there is none like unto thee but they are altogether brutish and foolish the stock is a doctrine of vanities Silver spread in two plates is brought from Tashish, and gold from Apaz. The work of the workman and of the hands of the founder, blue and purple, is their clothing. They are all the work of cunning men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting king. At his wrath the earth shall tremble, and the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation. Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He hath made the earth by his power, he hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish in his knowledge, every founder is confounded by the graven image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, and the work of errors, in the time of their visitation they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the Lord of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up thy wares out of the land, O inhabitant of the fortress. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will slinge out the inhabitants of the land at this once, and will distress them, that they may find it so. War is me for my heart, my wound is grievous. But I said, Truly, this is a grief, and I must bear it. My tabernacle is spoiled, and all my clothes are broken. My children are gone forth of me, and they are not. There is none to stretch forth my tent any more, and to set up my curtains. For the pastors are become brutish, and have not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the brute is come, and a great commotion out of the north country to make the cities of Judah desolate, and a den of dragons. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob, and devoured him, and consumed him, and have made his habitation desolate. Chapter 11 The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron fantasy, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to all which I command you. 
so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God, that I may perform the earth which I have sworn unto your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I, and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant unto them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in that day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And, thou, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go, and cry unto the gods, and to them they offer incense. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy city were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense and to Baal. Therefore pray not thou for these people, neither lift up a cry or, or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee? When thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit, with a noise of a great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee, for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou shouldest me their doings, but I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter, and I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But O Lord of hosts, that judgest righteously, that triest the reins of the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed my cause. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of Anathoth, that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not by, by our hand. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. Chapter 12 Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy that deal very treacherously? Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root, they grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth, and far from their reins. But thou, O Lord, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried mine heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for a slaughter, and prepare them for the day of slaughter. How long shall the land mourn, and the haps of every field wither, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed, and the birds, because they said, He shall not see our last end. If thou hast run with the footmen, and they have worried thee, then how canest thou contend with horses? And if in the land of peace, wherein thou trustedest, they worried thee, then how wilt thou do in the swelling of Jordan? For even thy brethren and the house of thy father, even they have dealt treacherously with thee. Yea, 
they have called a multitude after thee, believe them not, thou they, though they speak fair words unto thee. I have forsaken mine house, I have left mine heritage, I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. Mine heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. It criest out against me, therefore I have hated it. Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it desolate, and being desolate, it mourneth, and it mourneth unto me. The whole land is made desolate, because no man layeth it to heart. The spoilers are come upon all high places through the wilderness, for the sword of the Lord shall devour from the one end of the land, even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit. And they, have, they shall be ashamed of your re revenues because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Thus says the Lord against all mine evil neighbors that touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. And it shall come to pass, after that I have plucked them out, I will return and have compassion on them and I will bring them again every man to his heritage and every man to his land and it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name the lord liveth as they taught my people to swear by Baal, then they shall be built in the midst of my people but if they will not obey i will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation saith the lord chapter 13 thus says the lord unto me Go and get thee a linen girdle, and put it upon thy loins, and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon thy loins, and arise. Go to Ephrates, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. So I went and hid it by Ephrates, as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass after many days that the Lord said unto me, Arise, go to Ephrates, and take the girdle from thence, which I commanded thee to hide there. Then I went to Ephrates, and digged and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it. And behold, the girdle was marred, it was profitable for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah, and the great pride of Jerusalem, this evil people, which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods, to serve them, and to worship them, shall even be as this gado, which is good for nothing. For as the gado cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, saith the Lord, that they may be unto me for a people, and for a name, and for a praise, and for a glory, but they would not hear. Therefore thou shalt speak unto them this word, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto thee, Do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon David's throne, and the priests, and the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, with drunkenness. And I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, saith the Lord. I will not pity, nor spare, nor have mercy, but destroy them. Hear ye, and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord hath spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God, before he cause darkness, and before your feet stubble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turn it unto the shadow of death, and make it gross darkness. But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep in sacred places for your pride, and mine eye shall weep sore and run down with tears, because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourselves, sit down, for your principalities shall come down, 
even the crown of your glory. The cities of the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes, and behold them that come from the north. Where is the flock that was given thee, thy beautiful flock? What wilt thou say when he shall punish thee? For thou hast taught them to be captains, and as chief over thee, shall not sorrow take thee as a woman in travail? And if thou say in thine heart, Wherefore come these things upon me? For the greatness of thine iniquity are thy skirts discovered, and thy heels made bare. Can the Ethiopians change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good, and are accustomed to do evil. Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passeth away by the world, by the wind of the wilderness. This is thy lot, the portion of thy measures from me, saith the Lord, because thou hast forgotten me, and trusted, trustedest in falsehood. Therefore will I discover my scats upon thy face, that thy shame may appear. I have seen thine adulteries, and thine eyings, the lewdness of thy whoredom, and thine abomination on the hills in the fields. Woe well unto thee, O Jerusalem! Wilt thou not be made clean? When shall it once be? We're going to be stopping here today. Next time we're going to be starting from Jeremiah chapter 14. I'll see you then.